Morning guys, back on the job. Another beautiful Monday morning in uh, the UK. It uh, was absolutely hammering it down on Friday. So uh, yeah, had to, had to hold work, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, left you guys, we were here, finishing the setting out the square. Uh, we're coming back on that today, finish off the last little bits of setting out and um, combat the problem that is wave rock. Uh, I think we're gonna have to dig that out to make room for a side path, because as you can see where that line is. Let me take you up here and we'll show you. This line here is the center line of the wall. So we're coming this way 150 and this way 150. So that is gonna be right in the way. We're gonna have to get rid of that. But first off, I wanna set out some um, boards and um, so don't have to do it again. So we can lift all the lines up, dig it out. Hopefully I won't knock the posts over. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. We're here, I'm gonna quickly refer back to the plans. So as you can see, this is the outlay of the floor plan and it's gonna be, that is how it's gonna sit. So we're looking at it in the right way. These lines here, we go down here, across here, up there, and oh, sorry, across here. That are, those are the lines that I've set out there. So we've got the outside line uh, already set out and ready to go. So now what I'm gonna do, so I'm going to set up for these lines, all these little in bits and out bits across the fireplace. So we're going to set um, a few more lines up to uh, compensate for all this, all that movement there. And this section here, because you can see this is the other problem that I noted, this is where we're going to have a new manhole, drain run, new manhole, and then drain run off, oh, drain run off there, and that is going to come in uh, from a downstairs toilet here. So that all needs to be basically underneath wave rock. So this is what we're gonna go with. I reckon, probably start with this one here. So it's uh, 1660 off of this center line. So we'll drop that back 1660 there and off here as well. We'll probably go with this one, this one, this one. I'll probably do that last. go that's the last one going right through there it looks like a fucking mess at the moment and it, it yeah it is a bit of a mess get a bit of spray paint out and i'll start spraying up the lines as i dig them so i'll start at the back and work my way forward that's the other thing i've got to do is i've got to get the optical level out go out on the road and set up a few the height of it i've got the floor plan but i need the height the idea is to dig all the things out concrete them get them nice and level, then I'll dig out wave rock. Because with all, the, all these boards everywhere, I don't want to start digging this out and it all collapsing and f up all the hard work I've done in the past few days. I'm going to dig it all out, get the building inspector down. This will be the first time the building inspector comes. He'll assess it, make sure it's deep enough, make sure the ground's solid enough at the bottom without him saying, okay, it's a no-go. If he says, no, go deeper, I'll have to dig it deeper. The digger goes down to 1.7 meters. Normally footings are about a meter. You, you go down as deep till you hit ballast or solid ground. But because this is all sand here, I don't think I'll find ballast. So it's going to be at his discretion, I reckon. That's my thought of it. You see that line through there? That line through there? That's the ballast. That is what I would like. Right down the bottom under here. About a metre. Before I do anything else, I'm going to double check everything. Make sure it's square. The numbers are right, the distances are right, just making sure everything is possible. I managed to get the, the square all checked, so it's all square enough. It's uh, within a visible um, discrepancy of a few mil, so I'm happy with that. Well, that's everything double checked and triple checked. 
I'm happy with the uh, measurements. They're all sort of within within five mil. So I'm, I'm happy with that. As it's the centre line, we've got uh, 300 mil uh, brickwork and blockwork with 100 mil cavity in the middle, so 300 in total. And then uh, the bucket I'm going to use is a 650. So you've got um, enough clearance either side to allow for a little bit of discrepancy. So I'm, I'm happy. Number one colour match auto spray. That's that's pretty good. So yeah, it saves me going down the shops. Um, hopefully it works. It does look like it's from the 80s. It was no, definitely. Let's hope this works. Um, one thing that I didn't explain yesterday while I was uh, double checking on the measurements is what I like to call the Ghostbuster rule. Now, the one thing you have to make sure that to get everything exact size is that the strings do not touch so almost like the Ghostbusters do not cross their streams like this is close but as you can you might not be able to see but they aren't touching have to make sure they don't touch like here we go perfect example they are touching now this could be over here and it might only be a few millimeters out but the friction on that will hold it so I need to there you go. I need to just lift that off and put it over the top of this one. So yeah, that's uh, well, what I like to call the Ghostbuster rule. I'll sort that out and then I'm going to spray this first line and then get digging. I'm actually extremely nervous about doing this. The first dig just, I've even gone around and checked again all the lines before I took the lines down after I sprayed this bit. I checked again, all the measurements were right, they are right, but still I'm super nervous about starting these footings just because one fuck up at this point could be super expensive. Right? The amount of concrete that's going to be going in here just the amount of money that's put below ground that no one ever sees on a house is I need to do this bang on right first time. I've checked again so it's the fourth time I've checked so hopefully they're right touch wood. But yeah super nervous about doing this but it's got to be done so let's go. We've done trench here, we dug this trench through here as well, and also this one over by the wave rock. It's, uh, it was right up against, as you can see, it was right up against the uh, the rock of, I'm surprised it hasn't caved in, but because of where the tracks are and the way the, the body turns, I had to come in at a funny angle and dig it on the, on the kink. I got it, it's a bit messy in the bottom, I'm gonna have to get in there and bottom that out. Not looking forward to that in case we've got a cave in, but I'll do it as quickly as I can. And yeah, it's a bit dangerous, but it stood up this this long, so I can't see why it would cave in. Touch wood. Tell you what. <laughs> Day and a bit, well, I'll skip two days actually. Okay, that's us done. Footings are officially dug out. Oh, I'm, I'm, I feel fucked. <laughs> Finished everything off. The last two trenches I had to do by hand. Good bit of digging. And yeah, that's, that's the footings finished. 
only part I've got to do now is I've got to bottom them all, bottom them all out, dig out the bottom bit. Look, let me flip you around and show you. As you can see in the bottom, you've got all the, the lines of the teeth off the digger. And you've got little bits right here, the lines. Just, just bottom it out, flatten it out. Make it solid at the bottom, like this one down here. Make it look like that. Just flatten it out so it's got a nice base for the concrete to sit on. A little bit of uh, sand here and there that I've got to pull out. Like places where I couldn't get the digger back into. Because um, I just can't get in too many trenches. So these are the two that I dug by hand. It was this, I don't really want to stand on here, this one here, which has been bottomed out, and that one there. As you can see, that bit collapsed. All of that came crashing down. Luckily I wasn't in there. I was down the hole. It was a lot shallower than that. Trying to get out. I got up there, missed my footing, stood there, that bit fell in, and then fell over. That bit came down and I landed down there somewhere. Kind of a shame I didn't have the camera running because it probably would have been oh I've almost done it again probably would have been quite funny but yeah didn't help myself just uh, came a cropper a good one that's it for the digging as you can see we've got that is a big two big mounds of sand all that came out of these trenches the uh, oh, jump I've got to set boards up because I don't like doing that oh, almost. I swear something's going to collapse me, keep doing that. But that's that's the footings done, just bottom it out on Monday. Come back to it Monday, just bottom all that out. I'll ring up the building inspector on Monday. We've got to pay our fee and um, I'll speak to them, get them down here as soon as possible. Trucks coming Monday, most probably Tuesday as well to get rid of all that. We're looking good. So hopefully once the building inspector's been, I'll get the concrete and the pump sorted. But remind myself, I need to set the levels before I can order, well I can order the concrete, but I need to set the levels, get the right height, otherwise I'm going to put the, too much concrete in and I don't want the house too high. At this point, as I said before, most crucial part, got to get it bang on. So here, yeah, another good week, I'm happy with it. One week took me to dig out the whole house foundations. Yes, I'm happy the way it's all gone. So that's it for, the, for this week, that's it for this video. I will see you next time. Hit a like if you enjoyed, put a comment down below, let me know what you like about this, what you don't like about this, so I can see uh, what, what you guys are into, what you're not into, am I going into detail enough, am I not going into enough detail, just, just let me know and um, if I can get a gauge an idea of what future videos are going to hold. So, yep, alright, no worries, well you guys have a great weekend and uh, see you next week. Can you dig it?